Hey, World of Warcraft players. So I was sitting at home on my phone and I decided to do something really crazy. I was on the Armory app and I decided to buy three or four hundred K worth of mats. I thought to myself like, oh my god, I'm either going to make a ton of gold off this or I'm going to lose a few hundred K. I don't know. But I decided like, what the hell, why not do it? So here is literally all the herbs I bought. I also have a, a bank full of herbs as well. So uh, today, it's Monday right now. Monday, August 7th. Obviously it's 2017. And tomorrow is patch day. It's not patch day, it's maintenance day, but whatever, same thing. And you know how everybody likes to raid on Tuesday, and I figured, well, perfect time to buy 500k or 400k, I don't even know how much I spent, actually, on at, on uh, herbs. I think at the time I had maybe only like 650k, maybe. I had I made a video a couple weeks ago on how to make a million gold, which I had a, a million I made off herbs a while ago at the start of Legion. And I've kind of got lazy over the last few, a few days, a few weeks, whatever. And I, I spent some gold on gearing up some alts. And now I only have like 650k, but then I spent like, uh, it was probably a 400k. On uh, herbs, just herbs alone. If you didn't see that video, I'll put a link in a card or something. And uh, you can go ahead and click it and watch it, it's pretty cool. And what I'm going to do with these herbs, these 400k worth of herbs, is I'm going to turn them into flasks. All of them, right now. Once I get all my herbs, I'm going to send them to my uh, alchemist, uh, Prometheus. He is a 110 demon hunter. And we're going to make as many flasks as we can with 400k worth of herbs, plus a bunch in my bank. And uh, it's perfect time. I'm going to put them all in the auction house today because I don't think they're all going to sell. Obviously, it's it's Monday. I mean, people do raid on Monday, but it's not heavily, you know, not, not many people raid on Monday, but they still do. But tomorrow, hopefully, we'll see how much we can sell all these herbs or flasks for. Hoping to at least make my gold back. Maybe a few, uh, a few K extra. I don't know. This... This time right now, the flasks have kind of dropped in price, but I figured, what the hell, why not? Why not try it, you know? What else am I going to do with all my gold? If you do have any questions, by the way, about herbalism, feel free to comment below. And this is pretty much what a couple hundred K of herbs looks like. You know, I thought it looked like a lot more, but that's... Still quite a bit right there. Now I'm going to send all these herbs to my alchemist. And we'll check out how many flasks I can make. I'm going to fast forward just a little bit. Because this is tedious and time consuming. Okay, we're back. Now I'm going to go free up some space in my inventory, in my bags, here. By the way, I just got my class bound. I've been procrastinating for the longest time. Kind of been on and off on World of Warcraft 2. Been really into HOTS lately, Heroes of the Storm. It is a fun game if you're into MOBAs. I mean, it's all like League of Legends, but a little bit better. Way better. Because uh, you get to play WoW Heroes, so it's it's awesome. And it's more team-oriented. I'm not going to shove Heroes of the Storm in your face right now, but that's pretty much what I'm doing. So I'm going to shut up about that. I bought Overwatch, but I still have yet to play it. I'm probably going to play it this week. Maybe this weekend. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. If you like Overwatch or Heroes of the Storm, please comment below. What is your favorite Heroes of the Storm 
hero to play. And uh, please let me know how Overwatch is. I'm dying to try it, even though I bought it a couple months ago, so I haven't played it. But it was on sale. I'm like, oh, I gotta buy it. And back then I was like, really, Heroes of the Storm, and wow. I still am. Whatever. But I'm definitely gonna play it. So, yeah. This is taking a little bit longer than I thought it would. I should have fast forward. My bad. My apologies. Anyways, I uh, huge Game of Thrones fan, by the way. I watched episode four yesterday. Yesterday was Sunday. Blew my mind. Literally just blew my mind. I'm not going to list any spoilers, but holy shit. I mean, poop. So, I mean, if you guys watched it, tell me what your thoughts were in the comment section below, and we'll... Uh, might have a discussion on it. I don't want to, like, spoil it for people who haven't seen it, but if you haven't seen it by now, please watch it. I mean, like, holy crap. It is awesome. And if you aren't a Game of Thrones fan, and you've never seen a Game of Thrones episode, like, what are you doing with your life? Like, seriously. I'm just kidding, but no, I'm not. Watch Game of Thrones. It's awesome. But right now, I'm just sending a bunch of crap to my bank vault that I was just on. Got to free up my inventory. And uh, once I get that done, we're going to look at all of the mats I own. Just look at it. And uh, then we'll make some flasks. And this episode is brought to you by Creative Sound Blaster XH7 Tournament Edition HD 7.1 Surround Sound Gaming Headset. Check it out. I'll put my affiliate link below. Got to... Juice it up a little bit, but this uh, this thing is awesome. I've tried it myself, and I love it. It, it. When it says surround sound, it means surround sound. Like, you are blown away. Your mind is, just goes into applesauce after you put these headphones on, because it's just awesome. Here is all my herbs. Holy moly. I can't wait to make some flats. It's going to take forever. In a day. Anyways, these headphones, maybe just for gaming, but if you watch Game of Thrones with these headphones, holy crap, feels like you're in the Game of Thrones. Like, literally, blows your mind. Just look at all these herbs. I am just so excited right now. So excited. I just can't wait to make some flasks, even though it's going to take, like, a day and a half, probably. Yeah, but we're going to speed things up. Once I get to the flask making, but right now we're just gonna look at these flat these herbs. It's just so awesome right now. I can't tell you how awesome of a sight this is. Even though it cost me a few hundred k, yeah, that's okay. Anyways, let's see what we can make with these herbs. It's gonna take a little bit. I'm gonna fast forward, so we're not gonna like literally watch. Two hours of herbs making. It's going to be like 10 seconds. Sort of. Okay, I may have over-exaggerated. It was only like a half hour. But I crunched that half hour down into uh, five minutes. So we're going to watch five minutes of herb ma uh, of flask making. By the way, I'm making the flask. They're rank three. That's what you want to do. Just you want to get your flask rank three before you even start. Uh, making flasks. Obviously, at rank two, you gotta make a bunch of flasks to get the pattern to make rank three flasks. But it's not profitable until you get rank three. Back to Game of Thrones. What did you guys think of Bran? I mean, he's kind of a little creepy. Kind of, kind of a little creepy. It's like he's on drugs or something. I don't know. Uh, he. Uh, it was a better reunion. Between Arya and Bran, then it was Bran and, and Sensa. I mean, he didn't bring up the whole Ramsay marriage thing, which was kind of... I mean, he did bring it up to Sensa, and it was, it was kind of creepy as well. Um, I feel like Bran's full of spoilers, you know? He knows, like, everything that's going to go on, and I don't know. We'll see what Episode 5 brings. Kind of sucks that there's only seven episodes of Game of Thrones, but whatever. We'll see. I hear uh, there's only one more season after this, and I don't know what I'm going to do with my life after that. 
By the way, I never really told you what my favorite Heroes of the Storm character is or hero. Uh, right now, I'm really big into Lily, of all people. Um, I, I can pretty much play whatever hero I need to play. I mean, but uh, he, I feel like Lily is just an excellent healer. I did, I did like Stukov, Stokov. I don't know. I didn't really get into StarCraft. But he can put out a ton of damage and obviously put out a ton of healing. At first, when I first bought him when he first came out, I didn't really like him that much. I, I didn't really know how to play him. But once you play him for a, while, a few games, you know, you kind of get the feel of it. I don't know why I'm talking about Game of Thrones and Heroes of the Storm in a World of Warcraft video. Um, we can talk about World of Warcraft. I just got that mount. That was pretty pretty exciting. I'm working on the, de the Death Knight mount. Um, so... Kind of sucks you have to do like the whole Broken Shore all over again. And I got like five one tens right now, so I gotta do Broken Shore like five times. But that's what you get when you have no life, I guess. Um, but we'll see how that goes. I, I might post, you know, the whole scenario thing when I get the mount. We'll see. Or at least attempt the uh, Death Knight mount quest. I mean, I'm not gonna attempt. I'm gonna do it, obviously. It's not like it's hard. It just takes a lot of time. Um, I'm really loving the Death Knight, though. I just got it at 110 not too long ago. And I just got it up to, uh, 900 item level a few days ago. So, uh, post, you should comment below, like, what your main is, what your favorite class to play is. And, uh, let, let's have a discussion about that, you know? I still got about two minutes to blab before I finish making flasks, so... What else do I want to talk about? Um, let's see here. What did you guys uh, think of the new patch coming out? Argus. Looks interesting. Um, I know Garish is coming to Heroes of the Storm. It's going to be pretty cool. He's got this like move where he can throw a hero. I really want to know if he can throw Diva's mech. That would be kind of cool. Kind of broken. Whatever. Um... I'm also working on jewel crafting right now on my Death Knight. Uh, I will post a video once I get it maxed out and see what we can do with it. So we'll we'll try it out. I think it's going to be really profitable, but it's kind of late in the expansion. But we'll see. I feel like early on in the expansion, you really want to focus on gathering skills. Because that's when mats are high. So you want to sell a bunch of mats. That's what I did. Then I started herbing. And I started doing alchemy early on too. Because uh, alchemy is always profitable. Everybody's doing raids throughout the expansion. So it's always going to sell. Everybody needs flax. It's a great profession to have. Of course, so is jewel crafting. As long as they keep putting gem slots in the game. Um, enchanting is another good one. People keep replacing gear, so they're going to keep needing enchants. But, uh, overall, blacksmithing can be profitable early on in the game, but, I mean, it wasn't Warlords because you always had like, item upgrades. But now it's kind of like, I don't know if blacksmithing is going to be profitable. Well, that is what 400k look of herbs into flask looks like. Looks awesome. Now I'm going to send all these flasks to my bank all, and we're going to put them in the bank, even though it's Monday. Why, why not, you know? The price of the flasks are probably going to be a little bit down today compared to Tuesday, tomorrow. But I'm not going to sell, obviously I'm not going to sell all these flasks today. Probably won't sell them all tomorrow, but I hope so, because tomorrow is the payday. Tomorrow is like the big bang of flasks. Because everybody needs flasks on Tuesday, everybody does raiding on Tuesday. So, but I'm, I feel like I'm prepared, just like Illidan had said. It, by the way, me and Illidan are boys, because uh, I'm a demon hunter, and I've been in, I spent time in prison with him, in the Wardens. Just kidding. But anyways, yeah, we're going to, right now, I think th the lowest price of flasks is probably 400 gold. So, I bet tomorrow it's probably going to be like 600 gold-ish, maybe even 700 Depending on what time you put the flax in. Oh, I didn't... My uh, herbs got decimated just a little bit. Just mostly the Starlight Rose. But, uh... 
But now let's go put these flasks in the auction house and see how much gold we can get. If you guys got any uh, trade skills, uh, tips, feel free to post them below. We have a lot of uh, potential conversations going on here, but what's one more, right? Jeez, oh, Pete, look at all the flasks. It looks so beautiful. So beautiful. A few gems, of course. Um, and uh, all the crap I sent to free up my bags. <laughs> Anyways, let's go see what we can get for these flasks. And I'm a turkey, by the way. Big old turkey. Someone had a turkey thing from Thanksgiving, so they, like, made me into a turkey. I'm going to put the gems in first. Why not? Let's get that out of the way. Decent price. They were going for, like, a thousand, I think. So you're probably making, like, six hundred. Oh, four hundred. Like I said, four hundred. <laughs> Let's put it in a stack of twenty. Actually, you know what? We're going to buy... Cancel the auction, buy out the 400 since there's only like two there, and we'll just raise the price just a little bit. Just just a little bit. I might as well just put the rest of the uh, flask in the auction house. I feel like the green ones don't sell as well as the rest. I don't know why. They're always the lowest price, and they always last the longest in the auction house. I mean, like, why do you people not want the green ones? I mean, I don't know. I have a demon hunter, so I don't I don't you need the green ones myself. But whatever. It is it is what it is, you know. Anyways, when I'm putting stuff in the auction house, I use I this is the auctionator app or uh not app, add on. And it really helps uh it scans the auction house and searches for where all the prices and it puts your price like one or two coppers below with the minimum price. And I like to give people options, so I like to put a few stacks of 20 in, a few stacks of 10, 5, 2 feet on 4, and 2. So people can't afford the stacks of 20, so they, they some people just want, you know, to buy 2 or 3 flasks. Some people just want to buy the whole stack and get it over with, you know, so they have a, a supply. Who am I to judge them? So I, I just like to give people options. I mean, obviously it's annoying when you're when you don't have like an add-on and you can't scan the action the auction house, so you have to go through pages and pages of one flask, one stack of flasks. I understand that, but I, if you're out there and you're listening, I highly recommend you get Auctionator. It is one of the best apps or add-ons, sorry, um, out there. Along with you know Trade Skill, I tried Trade Skill for a while, and there's I think another one called Auctioneer. They're all they're all good. I mean, it depends on your preference, really. But this add-on is pretty solid. And also, I highly recommend uh, the Armory app for your phone because then you can sell stuff and check your auction house, buy stuff, and it's organized by the highest lowest price. So it's really useful. That's what I do when I'm at work and at my job. I get on the auction. I already armory, you know. Check out my auctions and buy stuff. That's how productive I am at work. Just kidding. Just kidding. Not really. But seriously. Um, let's see. I feel like the purple, the red, and the yellow flask, I mean, the Seven Demon, Countless Army, Whispering Pack, whatever you want to call these things, are all about the same in worth and demand. They seem to, all three of them, go pretty fast and for a decent price, at least far above the green of uh, whatever thousand-something flasks. I feel like these are a much better option, but I feel like you still should have the green flask in there if people still buy them. It's good to have variety. It's the spice of life. And uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about flasks. Um, it's pretty much the best way to make gold. I mean, if you have a better way of making gold, please comment below. And, I'll give it a try. 
I'm pretty open to anything. I mean, I've been loving my fishing, you know, trying jewel crafting, enchanting, and tailoring. I mean, I have five eighties, so they're all mixed up in professions. But I believe flask is the best way to make gold. I haven't really gotten in far into tailoring or enchanting. I was at the beginning, um, at the end of Warlords and kind of the beginning of Legion, making a ton of gold off hex weave bags. Because you can go to that spot in um, the Grand, where they have these, like, uh, cleft lifts. And you get a monk, put down uh, one of them totem kind of things that, like, aggro's everything. And you can literally get stacks and stacks of soldiers fur. That was awesome. But now i uh gotten a lot more lazy. Don't really quite want to farm anymore. I've been farming... At the beginning of Legion, you know, with my uh, my farmers, I guess my tune. I had a few tunes at the beginning of Legion that I would just farm mats, like uh, herbing. Best herber is a druid. You can go around in your little raven form, flight form. Well, actually, <laughs> at the beginning of Legion, we didn't have flight, but still, you can go around in your stag form. And you don't have to transform, so you can just collect herbs. In your stag form. Even when flying came out. They're still the best. Because then you can go in your raven form. But then that's when the price of every map took a dive. Alright I just finished. Well I am just finishing putting on all my flasks in the auction house. Holy crap it's taking a long time. But anyways. I will post the results after I sell all my flasks. In uh, it'll probably take a few days, so that'll be my next video. Holy crap, that is a lot of flax! Wow, we'll see how much gold I make. Uh, I'll post it later. And uh, if you found this video helpful or you liked it, enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Definitely, if you want to see the results. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and have a great day in the world of Warcraft.